All right, today's drum minute is on the grip. So how do we hold drumsticks? Now, this is not rocket science, but there is a right and a wrong way to do it. And what you'll learn is, is that there are some variations upon exactly where your fingers go, but there'll be a few key things that are there for any grip. And um, so first I wanna talk a little bit about my professor at Virginia Tech. His name was Dr. John Floyd. And so there was um, four freshman percussionists that went in, started Virginia Tech at the same time. And just want to make a little shout out to my friends, uh, Joe, John, and Brian, um, three great percussionists who I'm very thankful for. We started music school at the same time. And so um, Dr. John Floyd was our professor. And when we go into lessons, you know, when he would talk about grip, this is how he would teach it. He would say, imagine you're walking in the woods and you see a stick and want to pick it up. You bend down and pick it up. And that's how to hold a drumstick. So he wasn't overly concerned about where all of your fingers went. Um, he wanted it to be natural and relaxed. And those are really the key things in any grip that you're using, whether it's traditional or matched grip. Obviously, when you pick up a stick and you're walking, you're not going to grab it in the traditional format. But let's say you're starting out right now, and we're going to talk about a matched grip. You lean down, you pick up a stick. Um, one thing you shouldn't be doing is squeezing that stick and adding tension because my wrist would get tired really fast if I was squeezing this drumstick. I wouldn't be able to play cleanly and for any reasonable length of time. So. I need to be relaxed. My, my grip, my fist, my fingers, my arm, my wrists, my shoulders, this all needs to be relaxed. Now let's say I reached down and I picked up my stick. A little tribute to Dr. John Floyd there. Um, I have an open space right here because I'm not squeezing. I have an open space right here my fingers are all wrapped around the stick and they're all touching the stick and then the last thing I teach my students is that my thumb is going straight up the side of the stick and that's it when I play I put my wrist flat and all those fingers still stay on now this is a simple concept um, open space relaxed hands uh, all the fingers on the stick. This is a very simple concept. It's not rocket science. Yet, this takes discipline. And um, this is thing, you know, particular things I see my students do that you have to continuously monitor. That tells me this takes discipline. So you may see people do this and put a finger on top. Um, this is extremely common, letting those fingers come off at the end there and then what happens is is you're only playing with the fulcrum and these aren't helping you at all um, and then the last thing would be too tight this especially happens when people start trying to play fast so today if you're trying to learn how to hold drumsticks for the first time or maybe you want to refine your grip hold your stick just like this make sure you have an open space there Make sure that thumb is going straight up the side. And then notice how all my fingers are on the stick right there. And when I play, I'm gonna keep those fingers on. That is a great starting point. If you can start working on your rudiments and your snare drum technique with that grip, the same thing in the left hand as you've got in your right hand, you're gonna have a good foundation to build upon. And you want to watch this. You want to play simple exercises, maybe eight on a hand or single strokes or double strokes, and make sure that that technique doesn't change. It's simple to say, okay, this is how I hold my sticks. But when you start playing, don't let things go. Don't change pieces of that because it will hurt you in the long run. So um, rewind this video, watch it a few times, and make sure you're you're getting the nuances of this grip. Because again, it's a simple concept, but it will take discipline to do it over and over before it comes second nature. 
you have any questions, put them down below, and I'll see you next week.